Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Former San Antonio police officer James Brennan facing charges tonight in the shooting of a teenager back on October 2nd. Footage shows the teen was sitting in his own car in a parking lot eating a hamburger when he was shot. The 17-year-old is on life support. Deputies in Sacramento County are still looking for the suspect in a Tuesday night homicide in North Highlands. The victim was found dead in the street on Madison Avenue between Roseville Road and I-80. In Citrus Heights, Sacramento Metro Fires investigating the cause of a fire at the El Tapatio Family Mexican Restaurant on Sunrise Boulevard. No one was inside at the time and no one was hurt. Damage is in the thousands of dollars. Former LA City Council President Nuri Martinez has announced her resignation days after a recording surfaced of her and other city council members making racist remarks. Two other council members on that recording, Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, are also facing calls to resign. In the wake of that recording, State AG Rob Bonta says he'll investigate LA's redistricting process. The recording included talks of protecting Latino political strength in council districts. Bonta says the results could potentially bring civil or criminal results. A Connecticut jury has ordered conspiracy theorist Alex Jones to pay $965 million to Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting victims, relatives, and an FBI agent. They said Jones turned their loss and trauma into years of torment by promoting the lie that the rampage was a hoax. The FDA now says there's a shortage of Adderall, which is used to treat ADHD and narcolepsy. It's due to intermittent manufacturing delays with a manufacturer. The agency says it is monitoring the situation. The FDA and CDC today signed off on COVID boosters for children as young as five. It comes ahead of an expected winter surge in cases. The new doses are modified to target the most common and contagious Omicron variants. Tomorrow, the federal government is set to announce a boost to Social Security payments. It's expected to be the biggest boost in 40 years and maybe as high as 9 percent. It would take effect in January. Also going up, admission prices at Disneyland. The 8 percent increase started on Tuesday. The biggest increase is on the two-day ticket. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.